Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to calculate the sag in the cable, given that we know the length of the cable. So here, let's assume that the horizontal distance is 50 meters. We're trying to find out what Y sub B is, the sag from where the attach points are, A and B. So usually this is called A, this is called B, and then the lowest point of the cable is called C. And let's say we're given the cable length from point C to point B to be 25.5 meters, so a half a meter longer than the horizontal distance from there to there, that would be half a 50 or 25 meters. We use the same expansion equation. We know that the length of the cable is equal to the horizontal distance of the cable from, let's say, from C to B, times this infinite expansion. And that, of course, comes from the equation where we know that the shape of the cable is parabolic using this equation right here. Typically, we only need the first two terms, and it makes it a lot easier if that's all we're going to consider. So what we're going to do here is only consider the first two terms, like so, and ignore the third and consecutive term after that. When we do that, we get the following. We can see here, that algebraically, we get S sub B is equal to S sub X times the quantity 1 plus 2 thirds times Y sub B squared divided by X sub B squared. And we're going to ignore everything after that. And what we're trying to do here is solve for Y sub B. Okay, well, let's plug in all the numbers and then go from there. So S sub B is going to be 25.5. That's in meters equals 25 meters times 1 plus 2 thirds times y sub b is the unknown, so we write y sub b quantity squared divided by x sub b, which is going to be 25 squared, like so. And then to get rid of the decimal place, we'll multiply both sides by 2, so we get 51 equals 50 times 1 plus 2 thirds y sub b squared divided by. 25 squared. First, to simplify this, we'll divide both sides by 50. We get 51 divided by 50 equals 1 plus 2 thirds times y sub b squared over 25 squared. And I think you begin to see where this is going. Now we subtract the 1 from both sides. So this would be uh, 51 over 50 minus 1 equals 2 thirds times y sub b squared over 25 squared. This would be 1 out of 50, and then we're going to multiply that times 3 over 2 to get rid of 2 thirds. Let's move over this way. So that means we get 1 divided by 50, because 51 divided by 50 minus 1 is 1 divided by 50. Multiply that times 3 over 2 is equal to y sub b squared divided by 25 squared, and then turning the equation around and multiplying both sides by 25 squared, we end up with y sub b squared is equal to 25 squared divided by 50 times 3 over 2. And so 25 divided by 50 is 1 half. It's 25 squared, so we have 25 divided by 2 y sub b squared is equal to 25 divided by 2 times 3 over 2. And so this is y sub b squared is equal to 75 divided by 4. You can see when you get to be as old as me, you try to simplify it as much as possible before you grab your calculator. Because it used to be that we didn't have calculators, we had slight rules and want to make it as simple as possible. So now we need to take the square root of both sides. So if we take the square root of the left side and the square root of the right side, let's see what we get. 75 divided by 4, take the square root, and we get y sub b is equal to 4.33, and of course the units were meters. That means that if the length of the cable is 25 and a half meters, at least for half the cable, or 51 meters for the whole length of that section, and um, half of it is 25 meters, then we can find that the sag would be 4.33 meters. And that's how it's done. Remember, only use the first two terms because the third term is really not significant and doesn't add much to the problem. That's how it's done.